howdy. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. I have made it to the shores of Lake Huron, more specifically Saginaw Bay. This is kind of the return of an annual fishing trip that we're looking forward to. Um, but it's more than that this year. Um, if you've been a part of the channel for a long time, you'll know that we actually didn't do the trip last year. And that was because the patriarch of our fishing group, Mike, um, passed away just about a year ago exactly. So no trip last year, but we're returning this year and it's, it's more than fishing. Um, we're gonna remember Mike, we're gonna tell a lot of stories and reminisce, I'm sure, and uh, just have a good time um, reconnecting with, with some good friends and, and some good pals. And hopefully we'll catch some walleye along the way. Um, but nonetheless, we're just pulling into the cabin here and it's gonna be a fun time. So let's see if we can catch some walleye. We made it on the water. Here's our crew for today. Dave, captain. We also have Kyle and Adam. Still waiting for them to swap the deck. <laughs> so Kyle and Adam are new to the channel. So looking forward. We are currently just uh, motoring out of the channel here onto Saginaw Bay. Um, we're going to do a little roundabout to celebrate Mike first, and then uh, see if we can catch some walleye. So kind of a cold front, we'll see what happens. Uh, chilly this morning, but the sun's bright and it's pretty flat calm, so it should be a good day to be on the water. I'm just going to read a couple of verses. These are the verses we read as a family uh, right when Dad passed from John 14. But I'm going to read them from the message instead of uh, traditional translation. So Jesus is talking to his disciples because he's about to die and leave this earth. And they're troubled by that. And so this is what he says to them. He says, don't let this rattle you. You trust God, don't you? trust me there's plenty of room for you in my father's home if that weren't so i would have told you that i'm on my way to get a room ready for you and if i'm on my way to get your room ready i'll come back and get you so you can live where i live and you already know the road that i'm taking and uh we know that dad trusted god yep. so we know that he's now living where jesus is So, okay. you can use the second hook, but you don't have to. I don't like using a second hook because it gives it a better presentation if you don't. All right. Then the worm, and the fish, this is so lightweight, the fish will suck in the worm, the hook with, with worm. the worm. So you don't have to use the second hook. So you have to put it through the top, okay? You don't want to do, a lot of guys will do this. Through the side, no, you don't. Won't. You don't want to do that. Yeah, right through the mouth. You want to do right through the top and just run it up the hook as yep. best you can. Pull it up. Try to hide the hook. Try to hide the hook. And then I usually pull it above the eyelet and try to make it as straight as possible. Yep. And then pinch. Just the end. Just the end. Yep. Beautiful. And then. And what are we using for weights? Um, right now we got the tadpoles right there. I think that's a one. Did you put all ones on there? Yeah, a okay. tadpole diver. Tad, tadpole diver. Okay. And then 
you know, usually you start with the tadpole cl as close to the as close to the uh, tip as you can. Reset, and then go. So right now we're in 14. So don't go any deeper than 40, 45 feet back. And then as soon as so we'll do 40, 45. And given that this is the first one. Okay, we'll just do 42 for a safe measure. So then you grab, grab the tip. Okay, so that, and then. David Ray. Um, move that rod holder, rod out of that rod holder. Outside. Yeah. And then. Take the planer board. Make a little loop. Just make a little loop like that. Just a couple twists. Once you do it a couple times, it's pretty easy. Make a little, little and then you clip. Shoot. Try it again. Pretty easy, don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank you. And then I just put the clip right on the twist. Give it a little bit of slack. And then when you put this in, see that pin right there in the middle? Yep. You gotta make sure the line goes behind that pin. Okay? That way, when we pop the board, we won't lose it, okay? So then, put it in there. And you just, yeah, and then. We spread these out. I like them to be 20 to 25 feet apart from each other. That way when we turn, we don't, they don't twist. Simple as that, and now we're fishing. So we've got Adam hooked up. First fish of the day, we've lost two. What's our number at? 19. Keep them over here if you can. Oh, oh yep. Keep reeling. And keep your rod tip low. And we're giving you plenty of advice. You're gonna get lots of advice, don't take offense at it. No, I'm not at all. You're doing a perfect job. Intensity. Intensity tends to get the best fish. Now lift the rod tip. Lift. Oh, nice Land. fish. Wow. Hey. That's a nice one. That's a yes, great one. That was the same one that got hit earlier that we lost a fish on just a couple minutes ago. Wow, that's that's a nice a, that is a beautiful fish. Great way to start. Wow, look at that. Good start to the day. Let's get a measurement on it and uh, Dave will start filling the live well. Yeah, not you because you what are you talking about? Where are, where are we measuring it? There's a ruler right there. So we're just nicely getting boards set. We've had two hits and lost fish. Um, and then I was putting this one out the back. Right at 20? at 20. Perfect. That was 20. So we just started with uh, 20 inch walleye. So not too bad. Marked in any way. Well, Dave's in the way now. Yeah. So we're hooked up again. A little chaotic because we're fixing lines. But and belly aching. Good fish. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, Dave, 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 what are you doing with the net? No, what are you doing? Hold on. There we go. That's a good fish. Oh, oh. You pulled him out of the net. What are you talking about? Here, let me you just pulled him out of the net. You are notorious for bumping other people's fish. No, off. <laughs> he pulled him out of the net for the record. Another thick fish. We're gonna need a fire on that one. Here we go. Oh. Good fish. How long? I don't know. 22. So. In the box, that one goes. Update, Dave. Walk us through the situation. Well, we seem to be catching a lot of small ones. We seem to be losing a lot. We have four in the box, a couple of nice ones. Um, we are the three three peat 
weekend champions over the previous years, but we seem the crowd seems to be getting better. So we're gonna have to step up our game a little bit and throw a couple more lines out. Got some bottom bouncers going. Your second uh, outside Third, board yeah, has a yeah. board. And just so, like that. Just like that. I'm gonna reel that up. Just like that. I put that one out at 40. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. I don't think no, anything is there. pretty slack. Got hit. See if trip and lost the room. Does that one not have a second hook on it? <laughs> Weird. It's fine. Dave likes to run harnesses without the second hook sometimes. Uh, so I think we're suffering. Different presentation. Different presentation, he says. But yeah, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Um, lots of shifting. We're, we're trying different colors. We put some bottom bouncers out. Um, I think. We'll see what happens uh, once we finish this run, but uh, if, if we kind of get to the end of where we've been trolling, I think we'll probably consider a bigger move maybe, or that's what I'm gonna suggest. Um, but a little bit slow, four in the box, so not, not horrendous, but definitely could be better. So that's kind of the thing with trolling, is just constantly trying something different to see if you can get a pattern, if you're on fish. So that's, that's the other consideration. So, that's where we're at. That's our status. As soon as I said walleye, it turned to a sheep head. <laughs> That's how it goes. I think my second rod has a fish over here. You can see the board hanging, hanging back. back. Yeah, that was the one that was. Oh, nice walleye. Yes, sir. Good scoop. Whoa. Oh, came Did off of right the net. Oh, hooked Good. in the hand. Caught up. Beauty. Hey Kyle, yeah, grab that one. Cody at the same time. Pull her in. Get a measurement on that one, Adam, and uh, let's see what we got here with Kyle. Alright. Okay. 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter. Beauty. Watch your foot. Throw her in the box. That's 10 in the box. Double digits. The Definitely the right move. That's the wall, like. oh, that's the board. No, that's the board. The board slid this back. Yeah. Bring oh, something in. Bring, bring at least a planer board in. Some more. At the very least. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, there's a fish right there. I see it right there. Walleye. Easy, Adam. Easy. Yep. yep. Careful with your hand on the line. Yep. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Net's right behind you. Bring it up. Grab it, Dave. We just got a triple. That board's going back. Netted this one. It's a keeper. That, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. You can see it's tight between. That one, we got another one, quadruple. Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, I think, I, I disagree. 
grab this one, Kai. But I think he went into that line. I don't think so. I think we got a quadruple on. Keep reeling. Yep. You get the net. I got the camera. We got a thousand things going on. That's fishing, buddy. You got something heavy there, Dave. We got one heavy here, too. Oh, I might have just got off. Look at the flesh. Get up. Bring it right up. It's still there. I, feel I can't see it. Oh, yeah. Nice right. one. Right. Mark the spot. Mark the spot. And you got one, Kyle? I got a walleye, I got a walleye. All right. Sure. No, that's a sheep. Oh, that's mind. a sheep. Disregard, disregard. Is that Yeah, probably. Quadruple. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, keep him down. How, how long is that one, Dave? That's a pretty good fish. All right. That one it swallowed that hook. All right. It might be worth just checking. Since right move, so man. Long. Right move. One, two, three, four, five rods in the boat. Kyle's hooked up again. Was that a quadruple? We're that was about as about as quadruple as we can Quint get. Quintuplet. And this is a fifth one. Oh, that's Trying to make sure it doesn't get too high and splash out. Got him! That was pretty good. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! Alright. Push in the boat. I got it, I got it. Good one. Good one, Kyle. Thanks. Nice work. We hit the jackpot. We did hit the jackpot. Where's the players at, Dave? Cody had them last. Cody, where players at? Uh, here. Thank you. Where are we at in terms of count? About count? 10 feet, yeah. Shoot. There's some in the box. Alright, we get to hit those spots again. That's a good thing. This is oh, I got a quick side one. Oh, okay. No, that's a nice walleye. Just swiped at it. Dave. Hey, come on. Get up here. I would say the fish takes priority over an immediate turn, not to be critical. Look at this fish going in there. He just got himself wrapped into it. Nice. Wow. Another right. thick one. Now you can worry about it, Dave. I'll oh, take care of this. Uh, no, you don't. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah. Let's get this one out. Oh. <laughs> this fish. One, this one just went back. That gives you a We're going to lose your board, man. Bring it in. Give it to somebody else. Here, buddy. Adam's been doing all the work for that side. Time to reel That's in. That's right. We passed the hook already. Did he get you? Heck yeah. <laughs> You're a lively one. Holy crap. You're going to be at least seven. That's not good. So where are we at with this one? I don't know. I'm, we're lost. I think we're close to 17. I think we're at like 14 or 15. 17. Yeah, we've... We, Grazed over 10 just during that uh, quadruple. That puts us at like 14 or 15. Oh, you want to get this board? Is he still on there, Adam? You think? I think so. I believe so. Is that coming up? Man, we just pulled in about all four off of this side with belief of fish. We're trying to get our lines back in the water. You look out, and lo and behold, the fifth one's so got a fish. Is that rubber isn't connected? That fin just slides just slide underneath the yeah. fin? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty invariant with this that rubber moving. You can get up there. I think I have to go Nice walleye. Hey, don't horse it, don't horse it. Bring it up, bring it up. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, let him go. He's under the motor. Oh, no, no, no. He's a good one. Easy. Whoa, whoa. There's some lines. We got all the lines, but we got the walleye. All right. Yep. <laughs> Bring all, six, bring all six rods in. Turn, turn the These freaking bottom bounces need to get out of the way. That's all right. 
It's okay. They're fine. They're fine. They'll be fine. That's 19, I bet you. This thing's heaviest thing I've felt all day. And my line ain't broke yet. So I don't think I'm snagged on something. And the board's not under. So. The board's not under, so things are looking up. Looking like a big fish. Hopefully it's a walleye. Forearm workout on this one, that's for sure. <laughs> you look good, Adam. <laughs> Thanks. All right, right. Oh, he's going. I'm trying. All right, rest for a second. Ready? Yeah. Fill her up. Oh. Heavy? Oh, oh heavy. Bit. And it broke. Yep. Mine <laughs> broke. That was a big fish. Me. Son of a gun. Mm. Dang, that was a big fish. Right where right where the board clipped on the line. No, it broke right here. Yeah, right where the board was clipped. I re I reeled for a second after it broke. Oh. Wow. Mm. Yep. We're gonna believe that that was a catfish or a sheep head. Yeah, I don't think that was a lot. Well, that's good. Funny. About just that's as heavy as the one that just well, snapped the line. Well, we want this fish too. Let's see if we can land her this time. Oh, he's diving down. Oh! Oh! He spit it. Spit it. He spit it. He's Son of a gun. He spit it. No, nope, broke it. No, he broke. This is ready to go. I'll, right. I'll get that one. That's some uh, sequential bad luck. Yeah. Comes in threes, right? So did you lost both fish? Correct. Mine broke both times. Feels like a little one. I'd like to believe there's something there. It feels awful light though. Oh! Something's surface. Something. Woo, it's something. just swimming right towards us, I guess. Man, it spit. Yeah, it broke. It came off. Or broke. Yeah. It is a pike. Dave. It's not my line. That was That's something big. Yeah. It's bite yeah. out. There should be. That's three for you. Not, yeah, yeah. not to count, Adam. <laughs> But you're, you've had the most bad luck today. Hey, you're the one that told me to jump up and grab this one. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'd be the scapegoat today. I guess so. And that's all right. Somebody's got to do it. It's a tough job. I don't know. Give you an opportunity. Yeah. Give you an opportunity. It's late in the afternoon. We're in the midst of a theological debate. <laughs> And uh, we'll put it on pause. Please. And uh, we'll put the theological debate on pause so we can maybe catch this fish. <coughs> uh, it's a sheep head. Big sheep head. Oh, so you can, net it, Dave. you can still net it, Dave. <coughs> so the question, let me throw the question back to you. <laughs> the fact that you exist, yes, isn't that a chance for you to be redeemed? What? Because exactly. God could what have, have I, never. What have I done wrong that I don't deserve? To, I don't to, to exist. Just a lie. The joys of fishing. <clears throat> it is a beautiful day. Fishing. It's been a little bit. Oh man, we we moved deeper, clear water, and we really seemed like we were in them. But they've slowed down since, and uh, just really spotty. You have to be on on the schools, on the pot of fish, and you can get off pretty easy. So. That's how it goes, and uh, plenty of time for theological debates then. So <clears throat> we're going to give it another couple runs here, and then if that's that, it was a good day on the water. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can pick up a couple more. Yeah.
hear some of it. It could be a lot harder, from my point. But he just God chose a way for not to. Children have cancer, Dave. That <laughs> could it be harder? We were talking about sacrifice. God could have made it a lot harder for us. We got a fish. We got a fish. Dave. Do we make life short spaces that destroy our life? So why wouldn't the loving God, like as a parent, it's not, it's like a parent doesn't want the child to make that Why wouldn't God have that same feeling? It's, we're not talking about I'm not talking about God. God loves every person regardless if they serve him or not. Pretty sure it is too. Tadpole. We're close. Good one. Good one. It's under your net, Dave. I see. Got it. That's Got a keeper. It. Nice job. Whoa! Sometimes Dave likes to throw other people's fish out of the boat because he, he can claim shush. that he catches all of them. Shush, shush. <laughs> Where are my players? Where are the players? <laughs> players? All right. You want to bring the motor up? See lines in the water. Hold on, let me turn it off. You better do it. You're stronger than me. Were you talking to me? No. And then do you want to turn off your kicker? A little bit of a cluster, but we packed up. It's a little bit slow. Uh, yeah. Good loss of line there. <laughs> Dave's pants are covered in bug guts because the gnats are here, but we got some fish to clean. We're gonna head in. Well, part of the experience. What are we, nine miles out? Ten? We're nine miles. Nine miles offshore. So, boat back in, get some fish cleaning, and then we're gonna do a fish fry tonight. So, it should be fun. Well, that's that for today. We're in, we got our fish filleted, cleaned up, and we're preparing for a fish fry tonight. And good day on the water. So all three boats in our crew caught fish. Some more than others, <laughs> but it was a good day. Uh, good group of guys, good to get back together, good to catch some fish, and also good to remember Mike. Um, he was always the best storyteller, uh, had a great laugh, and although stubborn at times, he he had a, a big heart that was full of uh, full of compassion. So good to remember him. Good to get back together with this crew and and get back out there. Just a just a good day all around. So thanks for watching. Um, we're gonna be back at it tomorrow. So bright and early. Hopefully uh, we can get a little bit more of a pattern for the fish and uh, do a little bit better. So stay tuned for that video. And until then, we'll see you later.